I hope you can hear me with the noise in here, but this is the fault we've got at Hartlebury. Multi-fuel station. When we do a start, I'm going to do it all in hand because uh, the DCS is not working at the minute, it's disconnected. But if we do a hand start now from stop, as you can see, it ramps up to its set point. Okay, no problem. I've only set the fan speed low because otherwise it'll take forever to slow down. So we should be nearly at set point now. There we go, set point. Everything's good. I've uh, set up a coast in here just so we can stop it as they do in normal operation. So I'm just going to set 19 to coast inverse so it stops instantly on the screen. Although we know the fan blade is still rotating. So there we are, stopped on the coast inverse. So now I'm going to try and do the flying start which is enabled still in hand there so we should automatically try to restart as we can see let's just press the status so now it's doing its first pass on the flying start now it's doing its second pass on the flying start as it's trying to find out whereabouts and what speed that uh, motor is rotating at and it's on the third pass in a minute when it fails which is now you can look at the current it just remains there with zero rpm nothing's happening and it'll remain like that now for, well, I've measured it at about 20 minutes and obviously the motor's going to get red hot because there's a lot of current going through there with zero speed. But now, if I press the off button again, just to stop that sequence, I'm pretty sure now that the motor has stopped. So let's just try starting it again in hand. Obviously there was probably a little bit of rotation there, it went briefly into current limit, but as you can see, it's ramping up again as normal. And that's the problem, when it's actually trying to capture a rotating motor, it doesn't do it. It tries twice and on the third attempt it just basically sticks. Now obviously if I just stop it now, just to coast, well just to slow it down, we get the OVC, which is why on the DCS they basically just release the motor to a coast inverse to prevent the OVC because it's not got a Revcon on this or any braking resistors on it. And obviously there's a lot of inertia on there. But if we just stop and start now, it will be guaranteed to start okay now. As you can see. Just when we try and do a stop from a coast and a restart again, that's where the problem occurs.